What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to appear and disappear in Premiere Pro with smoke, just like this. And I'm back, let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro open and this is very simple to do but of course it's very effective. So this is the raw footage of the video you saw at the start, or my intro, and as you'll see, I'm on the screen. When your legs don't work like they used to before. I go off screen. And then I come back up, I messed up the intro one time, so I done a second take, and I simply just said my intro, clicks my fingers, paused for like a second, and then clicks my fingers again to give the illusion that I just appeared. Now, you will also need to do this part where you go off screen, and the reason for that is because we're going to take a snapshot of this. So, find that part in your video, make sure this is set to full, and simply press this button here, and it's going to take a snapshot, and we can just call this back. Again, short for background. Now this is going to be saved on my desktop, so now I'm just going to shorten all of this down. And then we want to drag this onto video 2, and I'm going to go ahead and get that image which is right here, known as back. And we're going to drag this onto video track 1, and we're going to expand this all the way out. So then it's not going to have any changes just yet, that's just what it's going to look like. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to find the part where I snap my fingers and give the illusion that I've disappeared. So we're just going to play this through. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to appear and disappear in Premiere Pro with smoke, just like this. Now it is right there. So what I'm going to do is zoom into this part, and I'm going to press C on my keyboard to bring up the razor tool. And now we're simply going to split this here. And now what we can do is drag this off to the side. So we're going to drag that video off to the side and we still have the background there. Anyway, the next thing we're going to do, if I play this through, this is what you should have so far. Smoke, just like this. So it gives the illusion that you've just disappeared. The next thing we're going to do is add a smoke overlay on top, which I will link in the description. So we're going to drag and drop this onto video track 3. And as you'll see, the audio is also going to be there. However, there is no audio to this, but we'll just keep it there for now. Now, the next thing, we're just going to scrum through this, and we're going to find the part where we snap our fingers again. <laughs> which is right there. So now I'm going to drag the smoke back and we're simply going to time it just right. So that means where the smoke is just exploding, which is right here. Now the next thing we need to do, as you'll see, it's just a black background and we need to get rid of it. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to come to the effects tab. We're going to type in keying. And as you'll see, it says color key. You want to drag and drop this onto the smoke overlay. Simply come down here on the effect controls select the color picker, select the black background, and bring up the color tolerance so the black goes away. So now, as you'll see, that is what we'll get. Now we will be scaling this up so it looks more, uh, doesn't make it look too obvious that we've just uh, cut the frame. We're actually gonna cover all of ourselves up. So as you can see, we're still showing there. So we're gonna left click the smoke overlay, and then you wanna come to the effects controls, Come to where it says scale and simply bring this up. Just like that, only a little bit because that's all we need. If I play this through now, that is what we're gonna get, it looks kinda better. And what we're gonna do now is make ourselves appear back. However, before we do that, this smoke is on screen quite a long time. So from seven seconds, it's gonna be all the way on to 13 seconds. And of course you don't wanna make your audience wait that long. So the way I got around this, I simply shortened it down by left clicking and dragging and we're going to shorten this down here. And this is now a two seconds of smoke and we're simply going to come to the end of this clip till you see this red thing. You're going to right click it, you're going to select apply default transition and this is going to be fading it out. So I'm going to drag this back and now as you'll see it's going to come but it's also going to fade away at the same time and it's off screen like that. So that's out of your way. The next thing we're going to appear back. Now where uh, I click, which is right here, we need to sync everything back up again. This one is a bit different the way we're going to do this. This is the way I do it, and I think it turns out better. So I'm going to zoom into the part where I click, which is right here, and I'll unmute this now. And if I play this, which is right there, I click. What I'm going to do is press C on my keyboard to bring up the razor tool, and I'm actually going to split this right here. Then I'm going to come back to the selection tool, right click, select unlink, and I'm actually deleting the video part of my click. So then I'm going to be clicking, but I'm not going to be on screen just yet. 
and this will make more sense once I sync the overlay in. So now I'm going to come to the smoke, I'm going to press Control C, I'm going to come across over here and just paste it in. And of course we need to bring this up onto another video track, same with the audio, otherwise it will mess up our other audio. Then where we click, we're now going to sync that overlay in right there. So we're going to click here. I'm back. As you'll see, it gives the illusion that I've just come back. So if I play this through. And I'm back. Let's get into the tutorial. That is how simple it is to do. So it doesn't look like you just appeared. You click and then when the smoke is the highest, you and come back, back like so. So I'll play all this through one more time. Disappear in Premiere Pro with smoke, just like this. And I'm back. Let's get into the tutorial. So that is how you do it. Now one thing I also recommend doing, after you click or whatever you're going to do, just sit there silent. And the reason for this is because as you'll notice when we click, like the sound just disappears and it's not really good. So with me, I sat silent. I'm going to right click this and unlink it so we have the audio by itself. And we're simply going to drag this out. And as you'll see, this was the background noise until I started speaking again. And I click right there, so we're going to trim this out. We're going to press C on our keyboard, split this audio so it's there. Then I'm going to left click it, shorten it down, hold Alt and drag it out so it expands up to here. And as you'll see, we now have created extra white noise and it's not just going to sound plain. So I'm going to play this through one more time. Smoke, just like this. And I'm back. Let's get into the tutorial. One thing that I did mess up is because I did sniff in it just a tiny bit, so you did hear that. Make sure you do stay completely silent. But that is how you create the smoke appear and disappear effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.